Hi, this is Daz from Seop Media. I'm super excited to have you join me in this tutorial. In this one, I want to show you how you can convert your Figma designs to WordPress Elementor, super simple and easy. I'll be showing you three methods to do this and I will start from the easiest to the most difficult one. So without further ado, I think we should get started into these tutorials already. The very first method, which is the easiest method, is for you to get a professional to help you convert that design to WordPress Elementor. At Seok Media, we are the best person to talk to because we specialize in converting Figma designs to Elementor WordPress website. We have a team of experts that I have on their skills over the years in Figma designs and also in Elementor page building. With this, we would help you take your Pixel Perfect website implement them as pixel perfect website inside of Elementor. It's as simple as send us your Figma file and we will give you a high-end Elementor WordPress website ready to use. Whether or not you want to make it a WordPress theme or you just want to have an Elementor template, whatever it is you want is exactly what we deliver to you. Feel free to talk to us at Seok Media. You can check the video description to see a link to talk to us. We'll be waiting to hear from you. This method will be ideal for you if you do not have time to sit down to implement every of the complex elemental WordPress structures like your headers, like footers, your page template, fall for template, all of the template that you need to have a fully functional Elementor WordPress website. Now, let's go to the second method, which is the less easier method, is for you to use AI to convert your Figma design to WordPress. There are quite a number of plugins in the Figma repository that can do this for you, but in this tutorial, I'll be touching down on one to show you how super simple and easy this is. So right on my screen here is a design template that I want to use for tutorial purpose. You can see this design, super simple, easy, and sleek. Zooming this a little for us to be able to see what this design look like. And this is exactly what we want to take to WordPress Elementor. The tool we're gonna to be using for this is called FigWebX. Uh, it has softlight.io slash FigWebX. We'll leave a link to that in the video description for you to uh, check out. You can see you can convert your Figma to WordPress and Webflow without using auto layout. So you don't even need to use auto layout for this. And this is super, super amazing. And you can see the page that this support, support Elementor, Briggs, Breakdance, and also Gutenberg. So you can come down here to check out their pricing. Uh, this is free for you to use only on Gutenberg and Webflow. But if you want to use Elementor, uh, you will need to go to their pro plan, which is priced at $10 per month or $20 per month if you want to do 100 or 50 export or 499 for a lifetime plan. So you can come here, buy a license, and if you do, you can just go to Happier, and that should bring you to this project here. You can easily just add a new project. I might just call this Seok Len, and then let's create this project. So inside of this project now, we can create an export task. And from here, the first thing is asking us is our Figma link. So now let's come back to Figma. Here, what we want to do is just to grab the link to this design and we can right click that and then we'll come to copy link to selection and then we come back here we paste the link here and then we select a page builder in our case here we want to use elementor well, there's a requirement for us to use elementor we have to install their plugin so let's download this plugin I have to download it into my computer right now. And then you want to also make sure you auto tag with AI. And that's everything you want to do. You can reduce dump size with AI. You can toggle this on. This will help you compress your images, take out unnecessary frames from your design so that you have just optimized container. But if you do this and you notice that your design is not coming out as expected, you might want to turn this off. Uh, so that's just a little tip there, but I'll just turn this off for tutorial purpose and then I would create this export task.
while this is creating, we can just go to a WordPress website. So I have a default WordPress website here. I will just want to come to plugins. Let's try to add the plugins that was given to us. As you can see here, I only have Elementor installed here. Let's add a new plugin and let's upload this plugin. I can just come up here to my zip file here and then drag that here and then let's install this plugin. Awesome. So we have this plugin installed here. So what we want to do next is to just come to pages and then let's add a new page. Let's edit this page with Elementor and then let's come back to FigWebX here. We can see our task here is complete. So what I can do is just click the copy and this has been copied to clipboard. I'll come back to Elementor. Good. So right now we can just come to our page settings first. We want to turn this to Elementor Canvas so that we can take out the theme interference here. And once we have that done, we can just right click on this. We can paste from another site. And then since I'm using Windows, I'll do Control V. If you are using Mac, you will do Command V. All right. So we have our design now inside of Elementor. Already we can see some alignment issues here already. Uh, but let's just close this up so that we can have a clearer picture of our design. Uh, the menu here, you can see this. Okay, this is perfect. All right. Okay. Wow, this is not a bad one, really, but... Oh, something is missing here. Maybe we should come to Figma. Let's check. You can see this is the design we have here. Okay, you can see the alignment of the images and the text beneath here. Okay, there should be like an image placeholder or maybe like a video here. That's what's missing there. Okay. We just need to bring this video down a little here. We need to play with alignment and all these are beautiful. Unfortunately, you would need to adjust things here and there. You would need to uh, play with alignment here and there. But if you're very, very familiar with Elementor, that would be super simple and easy thing to do. That's it. That's exactly how you can use AI to export your Figma designs to Elementor. And now this is taking me to the last one, which is the most difficult method. And that will mean that you sit down yourself and manually design your website inside of Elementor exactly the same way you did it inside of Figma. It's a difficult method and it will require a lot of your time but again, if you don't have the time to sit down and redesign every of your pages to have a high-end pixel perfect WordPress website, and you, so, you, and you also don't want to go through the hassle of using AI, most times you just don't get 100 pixel perfect conversion using AI. You might still need to spend some time to do some cleanups, to take out some monetary CS that the AI is going to load your Elementor WordPress website with. The option available for you is to hire an expert to do this for you. Like I told you earlier, feel free to talk to us at Seahawk Media to help you make your conversion process seamless. So that's it. That's exactly how you can convert your Figma design to Elementor. Feel free to let me know what method you'll be exploring in the comment section. I'll be looking out for them. We'll be also expecting to hear from you as CEO Media to help you. If you find this video useful, feel free to drop a like. Also, subscribe to see more awesome tutorials like this from us. I'll see you in another one. Keep designing and have fun.